How's everybody doing? Mike here, Gen X Arcade. Quick tutorial on how to use a full-size cabinet that's running on a mini PC that also has light guns. Real quick, you're going to run around the back and flip on the power switch. You'll see a little red switch on the bottom left corner. As soon as you hit that switch, you're going to start to see all your lights come on, marquee light up. You also need to grab your little remote control right here. And this is what turns on the sound bar up top. Just push a little red button here and then turn your volume up right here. As soon as this comes on, you're going to see your intro video. Once the intro video is done, it'll load right into the program. And then I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to use all the basic operations of this. So this particular cabinet is running on a mini PC that has 14,000 games. It also has a Nintendo Wii that has 110 gun games. That's what these guns are here for. Um, there's also a few other options that this cabinet has, and I'll be sure to cover that in another video. I want to stick with the basics on this. This cabinet also has a trackball. Now this is a four-player panel, and I believe in this screen you can probably only see most of it. Uh, probably can't see player number four on the other side. So this is player one. This is going to be the one where you're going to do all of your, um, all of your controls from for selecting games and turning the games on and off. So once your intro video is finished, you'll see it will go right into the loading screen and it'll bring up all your games. Now your games are broken up in categories, arcade classics, favorites, last played, and then you'll see it's broken up through um, different categories, some consoles and some just random categories. So I'm gonna show you guys how to select a game. So use your player one joystick to go up and down through the categories and once you get to where you want to be so I'll go to the last played you can hit your A button which is going to be the bottom row of buttons one from the left so that's your A button think of that as your enter button and it's going to bring you into this subcategory we're in last played and you can see all the last played games that were saved in the memory I'm going to pick the first one Mario Brothers is highlighted here so once again we'll hit our A button bottom row one button from the left give it just a moment to load don't push any buttons while it's loading okay now we're in our game and this is just like super mario brothers was on nintendo so if you want to do one player you can hit your start button if you want to go to two your coin is basically your select button that's this coin up this button up here to the left so we're just going to do player one go ahead and hit start and it's going to be just like we remember from nintendo now, like Nintendo was, we had forward and back, and you had A and B. So there you go, just like it was when we were kids. Very simple. Now, to exit a game, you've got your coin and player number one start button up here. Hit those together, just real quick, and that'll exit the game. Now, re remember, we're still in our subcategory for last played. If you want to exit here, push the bottom left button. That's your B button, the one that's right next to your A button. And that's going to bring you back to where all your other subcategories are. So just to make sure that you guys were paying attention, we're going to do that one more time. We'll go down until we see a category that we want. I'm going to stick with Nintendo, one of my favorite. So you can scroll down here with your joystick to go through your list of games. They're in alphabetical order. The longer you hold it down, the faster it will go and your alphabet will start to show up here. Now, if you don't want to scroll forever, you can do this little trick, push the coin button, and you're going to come down to one, two, three, fourth one down. It says jump to game beginning with letter. And you see there's an M over here right now. And you can go left to right, pick a letter of the alphabet. So I'm going to do C because I want to find Contra. Hit A, and that's going to immediately bring you into your A's. And here's everybody's favorite Nintendo game, Contra. Push A to select. Give the game a second to load. Up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, E, A, start. Let's see if I got it. A few hardcore Contra fans and Nintendo fans. Oh, yeah. 33 guys. <laughs> All right. So you go. There's Contra. So once again, to exit the game, coin and player number one start at the same time. 
And that's going to bring us back into our subcategory of Nintendo. We want to exit this, hit the B button over here, bottom left. And we're back here where all the games are your subcategories. All right, now, to shut this system off, actually, before we do that, I want to show you how to use the light guns. This runs on a Nintendo Wii with an automatic HDMI splitter. So all you do is just go ahead and grab one of your games, uh, one of your games, one of your guns, and you're going to hold down this power button right here. You'll see the screen has already changed. That's going to automatically power up your Nintendo Wii. Squeeze your trigger just to activate the gun. And there you go. You can see the hand moving on the screen as I move the gun. You can use this button right here in the middle. That's your A button. Let me turn on some lights here so you can see a little bit better. There you go. Hit that A button right there. And that's going to be basically your enter button on this. So we flow right here up on the top left. It's where you're going to see most of your games. And we're going to go right down here to start. Give this just a second to load. And this is going to load up about 80% of the games that are on this particular system for guns. There's also subcategories on here for Nintendo and Super Nintendo. So there's 81 games in this category. And you can just use your D-pad here, back and forth. Now, when you're in the Wii, you're not touching controls here. Everything's done through the Wii remote right here. So once you figure out which game you want to play, all you're going to do is just put that little hand on it and highlight it. So let's say we want to play this game here. You hit your A button and hit play. That's going to bring you into the game once it loads up. Just follow the prompts, and there you go. You can start shooting some stuff. So once you've decided that you're done playing the Wii and you don't want to play gun games anymore, you want to get back to, um, back to your regular arcade games, same thing again. Just hold down your power button here. That shuts off the Wii. and automatically brings you right back to your computer running all of your arcade games. just takes a second for it to pop back up. And there you go, we're right back where we started. Now, last thing I'm gonna show you guys on this quick tutorial is how to shut this off. So push the player number one start button. That's gonna bring you into the main menu. And we're gonna grab the player one joystick, scroll all the way down to the bottom. It's gonna light up, quit. Hit your A button, that's gonna be the bottom row, one over from the left. We're gonna scroll down. That says shut down system, it's the third one down. Hit A again. It says really shut down, yes takes about 30 seconds for the system to shut down. After that, you can go around the back and flip off that power switch, and that shuts everything down until the next time you're ready to play it. So that's it, guys, on how to use this basic system. I've got a few more videos that I'm going to be putting up soon that's going to go over a few more details with the guns and also with these. These are Bluetooth uh, wireless remotes that work really well with this system. And we'll also go over some stuff with the trackball, but that's going to be in an upcoming video. All right, so thanks for watching, guys. Let me know if you have any questions at all. Once again, this is Mike at Gen X Arcade. We'll see you guys at the arcade.